back to our channel Shiny Raj. Uh, so today we are here in uh, Thailand, Bangkok. So we came uh, yesterday night, night flight. For Indians, it's an honorable visa. So we took we, we took our visas in the airport itself per person. They charged around uh, 2,200 uh, baht local currency. Uh, but make sure to carry a photo because uh, it's mandatory. Uh, we need to fill a form here. Passport and size photo. Yeah, passport size photo. And uh, we did that mistake. We didn't get that photo, and we had to pay almost 300 baht one for one single passport size photo. So don't repeat that mistake. Please do carry a passport size photo while coming here. So today we are planning to roam across uh, the whole Bangkok city. So there are quite a number of places to explore here, like the Grand Palace, Wat Phua Temple. So there are a lot more temples and lot more things to do here. We already reached the Grand Palace, so we thought of visiting the Grand Palace first because it will get closed by 3.30 pm, so we wanted to visit first. And all the places which we are going for, uh, further also, which are close by, is just a walkable distance from here. So yeah, I'll show you the Grand Palace. Cheers. Here there are a lot of tour guides. If you want, you can opt one so that uh, they can explain and take a tour of whole Grand Palace. This is the entrance to the Grand Palace. Uh, it was constructed in uh, 1782 and uh, the Kings of Simai, it's the residence for Kings of Simai. So it, it, it's been uh, uh, from generations, this has been the residence for the Kings of Thailand and uh, so make sure here wearing a mask is mandatory if you're going inside and make sure you you wear the full sleeve oops only sleeveless is not allowed and uh, no torn jeans <laughs> so we got some problems so so don't see the shiny so shiny wears sleeveless so they made her wear <laughs> some different kind of t-shirt <laughs> which she is upset of this is not that free 229 Thai baht. <laughs> and she didn't like it, of course. Uh, hey guys, we got our tickets. It's a uh, 500 baht for each ticket. So these tickets involves uh, this kind of three parts are there. This involves all these things. First, we can visit the Grand Palace Temple, the Temple of Emerald Buddha and the second part is the museum and there is a classical dance as well. So all these are involved in this ticket. So yeah, let's go. I'll show you the place. The two demon guardians uh, towards uh, the left side, uh, so they were directly facing towards the Emerald Buddha Temple, uh, which means they are protecting the temple from the evil. Immediately after entering the inside, uh, you'll find this golden stupa, which has relics of Lord Buddha. And if you notice, it has a circular base and in the shape of bell. All these are uh, neural paintings. There are uh, 178 such paintings within the gallery. Interestingly, these tells the glory of Rama, which was adapted uh, from the Hindu epic Rama. This particular painting conveys the war between Lord Rama and the demon Ravan. So if you closely notice, uh, you will find the Vanara army, which is uh, Hanuman and his army. Now we are heading to Emerald Buddha Temple. Here there are two more demon guardians facing towards the temple, of course to protect the temple from the evil. This is the front view of the temple, Emerald Buddha temple. So at this place, seems like you can light up some agarbati and offer to the Buddha. Here the Gautam Buddha statue, it's made of the green stone and uh, it is about 66 centimeters tall. Also here, the Buddha sits in meditative posture. Yeah. Holy water for ceremonial use only, do not drink. This is 
this uh, five acre it seems on the Grand Palace. There are a lot of buildings, but most of the buildings are tourists were not allowed and it's closed as well. Uh, there are a few things which were open. Uh, the Amaral of Buddha is amazing, so we can go sit there and uh, watch the pray. You can even pray also. So yeah, overall it's good but tiring as well. It's very big. There's so much to walk here. Yeah, but it's very beautiful. Hey guys, yeah. So we had come to other place. Uh, it's Wat and Arun Temple. Each ticket was 100 baht for foreigners. So this is called the Temple of Dawn. So basically this is in the west bank of uh, Cho Phaya River. So uh, the name Arun, uh, Wat Arun comes from the Hindu god, it derives from the Hindu god Arun. So yeah, it is 17th century temple. Let's see how it looks. So the best place to come to this uh, temple is during the dawn times. Of course, the name itself resembles it. It uh, believes that the first light uh, uh, from the sunrise, right? Uh, so it will fall into the surface of this temple. It's believed that. Oof, this is tree to eyes. This is so beautiful. The outside architecture is uh, designed with marbles. So outside the temple, they're giving the Thai traditional dress for rental. So you can take for rental, wear it and take some good pictures here. This is our third attraction today, the Golden Mount Temple. Uh, so we reached our next place. Uh, it is Wat Saket Temple. This is also uh, the Golden Mount Temple. This is also called as. So basically, seems like this is very old temples. So when Bangkok has became uh, the capital of uh, Thailand, the king has inaugurated this temple. This also, I mean, this construction is also 17th century construction. And it's uh, it's also one of the oldest temples in Thailand. Let's see, let's look over. The tickets for this Gold Mount Temple is 50 baht per person. Yeah. But you need to climb a lot of steps <laughs> to come here. It's on the hill actually. Yeah. Such a long way to go and she's walking like snail. <laughs> This temple is very peaceful. Lot of Buddhist monks are coming to do meditation. It's really very peaceful. The exact uh, there is a small Buddha temple and it has a golden leaves tree in front. Seems like uh, people uh, write their wishes and uh, tie it here for the good luck. Asia's biggest reclining Buddha. So it's 46 meters long. So yeah, it's a very famous temple. Let's go and see. And the ticket price uh, is around uh, 200 baht per person. Yeah, bit costly but definitely worth. Also, there are different versions of reclining Buddha all over Thailand. But this Wat Pao, it's very massive and uh, it's the longest of all whole all the statues in the Thailand. 
see how long it is as said it is uh, 46 meters long and 15 meters uh, height so we'll keep the i think coins in the spots this is for good luck it seems so for so here they are uh, selling it a cup of coins actually it costs 20 but so if you are uh, wanted some luck come here <laughs> buy, buy some coins and put in the pot see it's shiny <laughs> This place is uh, not only meant for reclining Buddha. Actually, there, there are a lot of things here. And the interesting thing is, um, this is the birthplace of uh, Thai uh, medication and uh, Thai massage. It also has a lot of other temples as well. Seriously, three to ice. It's very amazing. It's so amazing, so amazing. And uh, this wat pao, it's uh, actually the traditional Thai massage. It's cool for traditional Thai massage. And uh, yeah, this is birthplace of Thai massage, it seems. So they have a massage center also here. So if you are interested, you can see the traditional Thai massage. You can try it out. This is the birthplace of uh, Thai massage. Actually, we tried and uh, it, it was good. Thanks for your love and support, guys. Uh, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe for the more videos. Thanks.